Folks, what's going on? Welcome to the FanDuel Hurry Up. I am Arden Franklin. I'm joined by the man, the myth, the legend, Tom Vecchio, as we're here to break down some of the biggest studs that we got entering week 14 of this NFL season. Tom, what's going on, man? I'm doing good. Last week was, you know, crazy high scoring for some players. I know fan uh, season-long fantasy playoffs are here, but we still have plenty of DFS, so let's jump in. You're not lying about that. To start off today's show, we're going to be in the AFC West. You know, the Los Angeles Chargers, despite their struggles, they've been competing in recent weeks. And one of those big reasons is wide receiver Keenan Allen. The Pro Bowl caliber talent has been cooking up this entire season. And this week, he is priced at $8,500. Tom, what makes him such a great buy this week? Yeah, some recent struggles, like you said, uh, this past week against the Patriots, 45 to nothing loss. Uh, there's no really nice way to put that. They looked bad, but we still can take some good things from that. And what that good thing is, is that Keenan Allen had 11 targets, and that's where he's been for the majority of the time Justin Herbert has been starting. This gives him 10 targets or more in six of his last seven games. And this is a spot where we want to go back to time and time again, the Herbert to Allen stack. Uh, going up against the Falcons this week, we have a 50 over under. It's looking very solid. The Falcons are on 35.4 FanDuel points per game to opposing wide receivers. That's the fourth worst in the league. So despite getting shut out this past week, I'm going back to Allen. I'm going back to Justin Herbert in a great game environment. Hey, one of the key things that you said, Tom, about Keenan Allen is the fact that this man is targeted. Even though he had, what, five catches for maybe 50 yards, he was targeted 11 times. So the man does not starve on game day playing with Herbert or anybody who's at quarterback. But regardless of their struggles, again, Keenan Allen, 90 catches for the season, highly targeted guy, really good talent. And he's priced this week at $8,500. Up next in the AFC, we go into the AFC South for division I know a lot about as a Colts fan, okay? And we have the Jacksonville Jaguars facing off against the Tennessee Titans. And even though the Jags have been struggling all season long, I mean, they have one win for a season, they do have a bright star in rookie running back James Robinson. James Robinson currently has the third most rushing yards in the NFL, and he's priced at $8,000. Tom, despite the Jaguars' struggles, what makes James Robinson such a consistent and good player to have every week in DFS? I think it's a lot of those things you kind of touched on already. The consistency is there for him. We have 19 touches, total touches or more in six straight games. Uh, you know, like you said, they're not the best team in the world, but they're playing with a positive game script. We see him getting four, five, six targets every single week. So it doesn't matter if they're up, they're you know down, they're home or away. We know he's going to be getting the touches. He had a very solid game last week against the Vikings. He's a very solid matchup this week against the Titans, who just got obliterated against the Browns. Last week, we saw Chubb go for 18, 80, and 1. And I know the talk was all about Baker putting up all those touchdowns. But Nick Chubb still had a solid game because the Tennessee defense is just so bad. Bad. They're like 23 FanDuel points per game to opposing running backs. That's the seventh worst in the league. And with a, was a 53 over under in this game, we're getting a running back at $8,000 who's getting 20 or so touches every single game home away. Like I said, it doesn't matter. I'm going back to James Robinson this week. Tom, similar to what's already been said about Keenan Allen, Robinson's another high usage player that is very productive. So despite the Jaguar struggles, despite the tough competition in Tennessee, even though they have been showing some weaknesses lately, you got to love James Robinson. We all love to see it. You all love to see it. So once again, James Robinson, running back, $8,000 price tag. We got to take advantage of it. And as we go to the NFC, the NFC North, we all love a good battle in that division. The Green Bay Packers are facing off against the Detroit Lions, and we get to see a God, a 12, a serious MVP candidate, quarterback Aaron Rodgers, who is leading the league in touchdowns this year. The man is like fine wine. He's getting better with time. And Tom, this week he is priced at $9,100. As much as Aaron Rodgers is typically looked at as a guarantee in fantasy, what makes him such a great pickup every single time you're able to add him to your team? Yeah, $9,100 this week. That's the most expensive quarterback on the slate. I know a lot of people like to pay down, but, you know, this season, all Aaron Rodgers does is score touchdowns. It's as simple as that. We're looking at multiple games in a row with three touchdowns. Going up against the Lions, we have a 55 and a half over under right now. That's the highest on the board. Uh, the Lions, not great on defense. We know this. And if we look back historically over uh, Rodgers' career against the Lions, he's averaging over two touchdowns per game, 270, 260 yards per game. 
we're getting that upside every single time. I'm looking to stack Rodgers and Devontae Adams every single week because the upside is always there. But $9,100 is certainly an expensive price tag, but I think we'll find the value later in the week. You know what, Tom? I've always been one of those guys that love to pay for top-notch quarterbacks. I mean, I, I, I feel like the same way teams value quarterbacks. I feel like you have to do the same in DFS, even though everybody's strategy is different. And it was so funny just mention the fact that, yeah, it's we're so used to Aaron Rodgers just straight up dominating his division that you forget the fact that, yeah, this dude gets two to three touchdowns a game. This dude is always able to make the most out of everything. We can't forget the Hail Mary from a few years ago. And this is somebody that so far this season, 36 touchdowns, four interceptions over the last three weeks, 10 touchdowns to one picks. So again, $9,100 for Aaron Rodgers. You have to love that. You have to take advantage of that as we get to see another classic NFC North battle. Folks, that is that for this week. Thank you so much for watching the fan. Do hurry up. This is Arden Franklin joined once again by the one and only Tom Avecchio. Make sure you tune in for the rest of this week to check out the other editions of FanDuel. Hurry up. You already know it's good stuff. Signing off here. We'll holler at you next time.